Marie and welcome to my kitchen and I'm going to show you how to make a super simple side dish to go along with our Greek dinner. We're going to make herbed lemon garlic orzo. Let's see how we make this. To facilitate a little bit of time and ease of, you know, whatever, making this a little quicker. I was multitasking, so I cooked off one pound of orzo pasta, which I drained, but did not rinse. You don't want to rinse it, otherwise you rinse away all that good starch, which makes all this goodness stick to it. So this is what it looks like. I bought a bag. It usually comes in a bag, sometimes in a small box, but not very often. So this is a one pound bag of orzo that I went ahead and I cooked off in boiling water. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add about a half a cup of olive oil. We're going to basically be making a vinaigrette, okay? We're going to also add the juice of one lemon, which, see when these lemons get so big like this, you have to take the end off so that it fits in this lovely little squeezer. There we go. Boop. Garbage disposal freshener. Did you guys know that? You should put the lemons down your garbage disposal. I even had a plumber tell me that. I've been doing it for years. Mm -hmm. Alright. Pop that puppy out. Then I have about four cloves of chopped garlic. About two tablespoons of chopped fresh dill. And the same of chopped flat leaf parsley. You can use dried herbs in here if you like. It's really not a big deal. But now we're just going to mix this all in here. Get everything coated with the oil and the lemon and get those herbs mixed up well. So make sure that because the orzo is going to have a tendency to stick together after you drain it. So make sure you put enough oil in there and break up the orzo really well. You want it to get perfectly coated. And you can add more herbs than I added. You can add fresh chopped oregano if you like. I am adding oregano to a chicken that I'm roasting. So I am i don't want to add it in here because sometimes fresh oregano can be kind of not pleasant. You can throw some dried in here if you like. But I think we're good to go. The only other thing, I am going to put some salt in here, but I think I have to go get it, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm just going to add maybe a half a teaspoon of salt. I have to refill my salt shaker is why. And I'm going to give this a good dose of cracked black pepper. I would say a half a teaspoon at least. Um, that's the one thing Greek food has a lot of black pepper, lemon, garlic olive oil. I mean, those are really the basis for the Greek flavor profile. And then in certain things, a little nutmeg. Um, go ahead and stir this up again. And if you feel like you didn't get enough oil in there, because it's going to really absorb everything. I'm going to go ahead and give it another squeeze. Remember, this is a hot pasta, so it's going to absorb pretty much any of the flavors that you put in here. I'm going to give it a taste. I'm going to let Rick have a taste. And I'm going to decide if I need more lemon juice. I start off with one lemon, but sometimes you end up needing more than one lemon. Mmm. It's perfect. Open your mouth. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Isn't that good? Yes, that's good. Mm, it's so yummy. So, there you have it. Delicious, super fast side dish that you can eat anytime, really. This is an herbed lemon garlic orzo. Super fast. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. 
I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating! <laughs>